What's up guys? So a little update on everything. I haven't uploaded in a while, but I want to start getting back into it. I just haven't really had the motivation to make an make another video. So I competed maybe three months ago in the Pioneer Open 2022. I ended up taking first in the 275 Open and the 275 Juniors. I forgot what my exact numbers were. Um, I know I pulled a little bit over 700, squatted a little over 600, and uh, benched around 350, 360. Nothing too impressive on the bench, but um, all around the entire competition, I all my third attempts were pretty light. I was kind of in my head about them, not knowing if I was gonna hit the hit the numbers I wanted to, and I was aiming for a certain total. So I don't wanna go too high on the lifts and then not be able to get them. So I stayed conservative, conservative with all three of my uh, all three of my final attempts on each lift. Um, all of them were really easy. Looking back at the footage, um, I could have done more, but I'm pretty happy with how I did. I took, uh, I think, best lifter in the 275 junior. Ended up winning the grand prize of the $5,000. Um, from now, for now, I don't really have any plans on competing again. Or at least I don't know what my next competition will be. I know I will compete again, I just don't know. In 2023, what comp I'm going to be uh, shooting for. I'm going to be switching from raw to classic raw which is just from instead of using knee sleeves I'm going to be in, in knee wraps now um, I've seen a good transition from knee sleeves to knee wraps uh, my squat has gone up I've been able to do a lot more volume with the wraps compared to with the knee sleeves so I'm really working on my squat this prep and also my bench my deadlift is slowly going up it hasn't really seen too much improvement in the past few years but I really need to get my bench up and then my squat, it should be going up pretty soon. Uh, I should be maxing out my squat in the, ne in the next week. Uh, I'm going to be aiming for 650 to 660 with wraps. Um, I'll be posting that on here eventually. Right now I'm just making this update video. Um, training's been going good. I did have a small setback maybe about a month ago, I tore my, I had a level one tear in my quad and a level one tear in my hamstring. I gave it about a month of no lower body. So I was still working out, I just wasn't hitting a lower body as hard or at least as much. And I slowly started working my way back into squats and deadlifts. Uh, I know I started with deadlift a lot sooner than squat. Um, still had bruising on my hamstring, but I didn't push it too hard. I still went in deadlifted, maybe 405, 500. Uh, real conservative for my numbers. And then slowly worked my way back up into squat. Uh, everything felt smooth coming back. Didn't rehab, didn't go to any kind of therapy. I just let it, uh, just took rest, or I just rested on it a little bit and let it heal on its own. I've never been one to go to therapy or to go get any kind of uh, rehab after an injury or really for anything, even for recovery. I don't really do anything special. I don't use any creams, I don't do any uh, rolling out, massages, stuff like that. I just let my body do its own thing and it's it's been working so far. But um, other than that, I did Today I did deadlift. I worked up to a 700 single on conventional and then a 635 sumo. I'll be posting some of that at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna be throwing in sumo a little bit, just because I already don't have a plan on switching to sumo. I just, I'm gonna throw it in after every uh, deadlift, after every conventional deadlift day. I'll do a little bit of sumo afterwards. I have noticed I'm able to uh, hit more reps sumo than I am with conventional, with the respective weight to both. Um, just something about sumo it just makes it a lot easier to rip out the weight than it is unconventional um, I am going to try to start uploading more I do or I did start training at night at a 24 hour gym and it's not as packed as it is during the day when it's super busy where you can't even set up a tripod or 
uh, record anything because there's people everywhere. Uh, I started training about 1 in the morning and it's pretty dead. So I'll try to be uploading a video a week uh, of each workout. I have more body part splits even though I do uh, I compete in powerlifting. My workouts are usually uh, say a shoulder day, a back day, a uh, chest day, leg day, stuff like that. So I don't really train the conventional powerlifting way. Um, so a lot of the workouts that I will be posting will be uh, more uh, isolations. So shoulder press, lateral raises, um, stuff like that. I'm not going to be really posting too much compound movements. The only compound movements I will be posting are going to be, of course, a squat, bench, deadlift. Other than that, I don't do any barbell rows. I hardly touch dumbbell rows. I stick to a lot of machines when it comes to my accessory movements, and I've seen it's been working for me. Um, a lot of people say to throw in the compound accessory movements for powerlifting, but I just have never done that, and I've seen a lot of uh, progress with the way I've been training, so I'm gonna keep it that way until I hit a wall somewhere. Um, but other than that, That'll be it for now, and then uh, I'll throw in some of the deadlift footage after this, and I will get back to you on another day.